before we get started, how are you guys feeling about the markets? Just op- just open talk conversation. Let's start off with you, Frankie. How are you feeling? You feeling bullish? You feeling bearish? Or so I'm probably I'm feeling a bit neutral today. I, I was saying in my morning market update uh, earlier today that I'm kind of neutral. If I had to lean somewhere, I would lean uh, a little bit bullish in the short term. But uh, we got a weekly red dot, so I'm being uh, I'm being cautious. I'm being cautious right now. Okay, okay, sounds good. Uh, Magic, how about you? How are you feeling? Bearish, bullish? You know, I don't really have those feelings. You just go from (laughs) Um, box to box? I'm I'm really looking for like the previous week open. You know, take the developing week high, get a little push there and see if it's a shortable event. If not, we don't trade it. All right. Gareth, how about you? How are you feeling, man? So I think for the crypto markets, it's it's kind of a neutral, slight negative. I'm, I'm a little surprised with how fast we snapped back from yesterday. Granted, the rumor, obviously, of the government. That was just a rumor which panicked people. But but I am curious here. This level at 30,500 on crypto to me is is a, a huge level. We've pulled back already. As we reattack it, I get a little bit more concerned that that, weak, that weakens the level. So we'll have to see if we get back to that 30, 30,500 30, level. Um, when it comes to the equity markets, I am like super, super bearish. All right. And, and not so much very short term. Like who knows what the Amazon earnings are going to be today? You know, who knows what Apple's going to report next week? But but like the signals that I'm seeing in the market are just unbelievably bearish, you know, from the macro side all the way through even some of these charts. So um, I'm seeing a lot of hopium out there in the markets, kind of a kind of a complacency almost. In fact, I don't know. Let me see if I can show you guys this chart. It's just kind of a, it's one of those things that for me, bear with me as I show it, you know, take a look at this. So I think we've all seen this before, right? This is the psychology of the yeah. market chart. And, and what I want to draw your attention to on this is, let me zoom in, see this run up here, this pullback, and then this sideways chop, right? And now if we flip over to, let me see if I can go to the, let me flip over to my stock charts here, bear with me. Okay. Now, if we go to the S&P 500, what you can see on this chart, if I zoom out, it's almost a perfect replica. Look at that up move. All right, so here's your that up move from COVID, the down move, and then look at that. And so, so if you go back, if we looked at that chart again, what we were in was the period after euphoria where you pulled back, where you're getting into complacency. And that's the part of complacency to me that people are saying, oh, we're going to go right back and start making new all-time highs. Everything's going to be fine. And they're ignoring a lot of the, the other factors that are going on. And so if this plays out like that chart that I just showed you before, which was the psychology of the market, the next wave down is going to be a massive, massive sell. And I could see that happening basically because we're in a point here where, you know, you're getting to a point where the Fed's now already said we're going to into a recession. Granted, they called it mild. I would just generally say that, remember, the Fed also said we were going to have transitory inflation. So yeah. they're not the best. If they say something, chances are it's about 10 times worse. Um, and so just to be be aware of this, I mean, this complacency period has a lot of people just saying, you know, it's all clear, all clear signs. The Fed's eventually going to halt and we'll be fine. I think they're missing the point of that. We're going to see the, the economy get weaker and weaker and the Fed isn't going to be able to drop rates like they did prior because inflation's still high. I'm worried. That's all I'm going to say. 